In this video, I'll show you how to set up your HP LaserJet M140W printer with your iPhone. I will show you how to connect them, but also how to print and also how to get the scan results directly on your iPhone, which is great for sharing. So let's get started right away. The first step is to go on the control panel of the printer right over here. Make sure the printer is turned on and look at the Wi-Fi button over here. If it's blinking blue the way it is, it's perfect. It means that the printer is in pairing mode. If your button, Wi-Fi button is not blinking blue, what you have to do, well, turn on your printer and then I want you to press the Wi-Fi button and the X button both at the same time for around five seconds until the power button starts blinking. Then lift your finger Wait around one to two minutes, the printer will restart, it will do its thing, and at the end, your Wi-Fi button should blink blue, which means, again, that it's in pairing mode. Now let's go on the iPhone. You're gonna go on the App Store and download the HP Smart App. This is the official app that will help us connect the printer to the iPhone. You absolutely need to get it. So go ahead, download it, and open it. Once you open the app, Depending if you already used it in the past or not, you may have this screen or another screen. If you have another screen, don't worry, it's the same thing, okay? But if you get this main menu page, click on the top right corner where you see a printer with a plus sign. If you didn't have the main menu page showing up, you probably get this page instead. And all you have to do is to click on new printer. Over here, you're gonna have your printer name appearing on the top. Click on it. Now it's time to type the Wi-Fi password, the one of your home. Actually, it's the one that your iPhone is currently connected to. Then press continue. Now they'll ask us to press the Wi-Fi button on the printer. So the one that is blinking, I just want you to press it once and the setup will continue on your phone. If you get this message, don't worry, press try again. At the end, you're gonna get this screen. Just press continue, go down. And here you can accept all or decline optional data, depending what you want, honestly. So I'll press decline optional data because I don't wanna share my personal information with HP, all of it. At least the one that I'm not obligated to. Select your language and your country or region. Press continue and continue. Next, they will ask you if you want your printer to auto-update itself. So every time there's a new update available, it will uh, install it automatically. Or do you prefer doing this manually and simply getting notified every time there is one? I'll click auto-update. I think it's the best option. I don't have to think about it. And then press save. Now they will ask you to print a test page. You're not obligated to do this. And since I'll show you in just a few seconds how to print, I don't think it's worth wasting ink on this. I'll select skip printing page. Skip sending link. Yes. And here we go. We are on the main page of the HP Smart App. This is where you're gonna interact mostly with your printer. So now let me show you how to print and then how to use the scanner to get the results on your iPhone. So to print anything from your iPhone, you can simply open the file you like to uh, print. For example, I had this file in the memory of my iPhone. I just open it and it looks like this. If you want to print a picture, although this only prints in black and white, you can also open any picture on the photo gallery app of your phone. And then it's the same thing. If you have a document, you can press this small logo over here, a square with an arrow pointing up. And once you do this, go down this menu and select print. Then select under printer, the name of this printer. So click here and here we go. HP LaserJet M140W. You can select the number of copies and other details. Press print and it will work. Let me show you. Well, first I need to insert some paper here and I'll press print. And here we go. It worked. 
Now you can also print using the HP Smart app, the one that you absolutely need to use in case you want to scan. The only thing about this app that I need to warn you is that you absolutely need to have an HP account connected to the app. So over here on the lower right side, you see I'm connected to my HP account that by the way, it only takes two minutes to create. It's free and you know, it does not cost anything. Well, you need to log in if you want to use any of these features. I tried to use them in the past and it's impossible for me to have access to them uh, if I'm not logged in. So if you want to print from the app, you can select print photo or print document and you know do the same thing I just showed you, but this time in the app itself. Let me show you how to scan a document. You'll need to be logged in into your HP account on the app. Open the scan lid, take any document you'd like to scan. Let's say I want to scan this part of this paper, put it facing down. And now we need to align it with this corner, the top left corner. So just bring the paper until the corner of the paper touches the corner of the scanners. Perfect. Close the scan lid. Whoops. By the way, you may hear a noise. It's because you can actually put quite thick document in the scanner. The lid itself is lifting up. Okay. The hinges over there are lifting. So, you know, if you have a book with like a hundred pages, you, you'll be, still be able to scan it. Now go on the app and select printer scan. And we have a few different options. I don't know if you see here, we have batch, photo, document, text extract, multi items, and you know, many things. Most people will simply leave it to document and it will be hundred percent fine. Now, if you go on the top here, click on this, we'll have a few options. And one of them is quite important in my opinion. So you have page size, you can select which page size uh, you have input, or you can leave it to entire scan area, you're going to have a lot of white uh, space in case it's a small document and you have selected entire scan area. And then we have quality by default is 200 DPI, which is enough if you have a text file with some small graphics. If you click here, I suggest you select 300 DPI in case you want to uh, scan a picture or artwork, it will give you more details. Then you have color. If you prefer color or black and white, then this is about it. Press done and press the scan button. Once you're ready, it usually takes around 12 seconds to get the results on your iPhone. So let's just wait a bit. Perfect. As you see here, the results is uh, starting to appear. It's a bit blurred and now it's not blurred anymore. You see, they will put some uh, dots and some lines in case you want to crop. So my document was quite small. I have selected entire document area. So I have a lot of white space. I can simply put these borders exactly there. So it will crop. So only my page will be saved and not the whole thing. Once you've done this, if you don't want to do that, you simply press full and the full thing will be saved. Press next. Now, if you have a document with multiple pages, let's say you want to scan six pages and combine them in one single PDF file, go ahead, input your next page and press the add button. You'll be able to add many pages to the same document, as I said. From here, you can rotate in case you put it upside down. You can extract text and you also have scribble in case you want to put some annotation. So you can draw some things, circle things on the scan itself. When you want to save it, the options are down below. You have print preview, which means that it will simply print whatever is over here. You have share and save. Once you click this, you'll be able to rename this document. So you can give it a custom name. And over here you have file type. So if it's a text document, obviously just leave it to PDF, but you also have the choice to save it in different other formats. And finally, file size, don't touch this. Once you're ready, press continue and you're going to have the option to share it on uh, with your contacts on social media, on your favorite apps. And finally, if we go down this menu, 
you have save to files, which means that it will get saved on your iPhone for future usage. If you're not happy with the result, you can simply press this blue button here and select delete, delete, and this is it. Thanks for watching. I hope my video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe to support my channel, but check out my Amazon links as well. I'll put links towards paper, ink cartridges, new printers. Every time you go through them, you support my channel since I get a very small commission from Amazon for referring you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.